In his speech at the ceremony, FNSS General Manager Nail Kurt said, 9 out of 12 vehicles were delivered in the PARS 46X6 Mine Protected Vehicle Project. We are delivering three of them today, made the statement, Nail Kurt. He mentioned that the vehicle has features such as a Selsun acoustic warning system, active mixing, blinding system, height adjustable independent suspension and the lowest turning circle in its class. Unlike its counterparts, PARS 46 6 MKKA has two RCWS. Different weapons from 7.62x51mm to 40x53mm can be used in the PARS 46 6 MKKA, where two units of FNSS Sansic RCWS are deployed. At the same time, the net can be optionally integrated into the vehicle against rocket and missile threats. Defense Industry President Ismail Demur in his speech, are PARS vehicles, it has been designed with the highest mine, IED and ballistic protection to date in order to provide our security forces with the ability to move under high armor protection and to meet the high capacity image, voice and data communication needs of these elements in the operational environment. We are proud that we have a defense industry that designs, develops and manufactures such a vehicle, which is a first in the world with its other technical features. Land vehicles, one of the most successful areas of our country's defense industry, shows great success in designing, developing, producing and exporting all kinds of needs of our security forces. In this respect, we will continue our efforts to increase the domestic rate of land vehicles, especially in the land vehicle sector, and we will continue our efforts to develop not only conventional warfare vehicles but also new generation, technological and vehicle that can meet different needs. At the show that followed the ceremony, three PARS 46 6 MKKAs demonstrated their maneuvering capabilities in different scenarios. In the MKKA project, which started in 2019, all mine, IED and ballistic tests of the vehicle were carried out with the user at FNSS facilities, Turkish Armed Forces exercise fields and internationally accredited test centers. The vehicle was tested against high-level mine threats defined in survivability standards, as well as IED and ballistic threats from all directions. Acoustic warning system, which is sensitive to supersonic sounds and integrated with gun turrets, active mixing, blinding system, 360-degree dual-user fog mortars and CBRN system are also on the vehicle as active protection elements. FNSS implements its R&D capabilities, experience and new generation vehicle development competencies with the support of its stakeholders. After the rigorous tests that must be completed before entering the inventory, the project will reach the final stage and the PARS 46 6 Special Operations Vehicle will be delivered to the Turkish Armed Forces. Thus, the new generation combat vehicle in the 6 6 class will enter the inventory of the Turkish Armed Forces.